The Global History Show with Mr. Benjamin. This episode, The Scientific Revolution. Yippee! So excited! It's a Global History Show. Learning targets for this episode. I can describe what brought about the scientific revolution. I can explain how people's understanding of the universe changed from a geocentric universe to a heliocentric universe. I can explain why Galileo Galilei was persecuted for his research. I can trace the steps of the scientific method. I can describe other advances of the scientific revolution. European medieval understanding of the world was shaped by Greek and Roman theories, wives' tales and superstitions, and the teachings of the Roman Catholic Church. The questioning spirit of the Renaissance and the Protestant Reformation facilitated a shift in the mid-1500s. Scholars now recognize the world to be governed by mathematical and natural laws. These natural laws could be understood by people and discovered through the scientific method. An example of the shift in thinking is illustrated in the understanding of the makeup of the universe. The ancient Greek writers, Ptolemy and Aristotle, taught that the Earth was at the center of the universe. The sun, stars, planets, and everything else revolved around the Earth. This is called the geocentric universe theory. Geo being a prefix meaning Earth, and centric being a suffix meaning center. I do not know how the solar system is arranged, but Ptolemy. The Roman Catholic Church accepted the geocentric universe, reasoning that God made the universe and made people whom he loves in his own image. God would place the earth at the center of his creation because of the importance of his people. The Roman Catholic Church was also very sensitive to anyone or anything that challenged the authority of the church thanks to the Protestant Reformation. In 1543, a Polish scholar, Nicholas Copernicus, published on the revolutions of heavenly spheres. Copernicus proposed a heliocentric, helio being a prefix meaning sun, and centric a suffix meaning centered or sun-centered universe. Copernicus's heliocentric universe theory was rejected by the scientific community. The mathematician Johann Kepler used data recorded by astronomer Tycho Brahe to calculate the orbits of the planets revolving around the sun, thus supporting Nicholas Copernicus's heliocentric universe theory. Kepler showed that the orbits of the planets were not perfect circles, as Ptolemy and Copernicus believed, but were oval-shaped or elliptical. Italian scientist Galileo Galilei brought this shift in understanding from geocentric to heliocentric universe to a head. Dopey feller, what do you know about Galileo? Galileo? Galileo. Figaro. No, 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 no. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Galileo assembled an astronomical telescope, a technology that originated in China and had culturally diffused along the Silk Road and then the Mediterranean Sea trade routes to Europe. With his telescope, he observed mountains on the moon and fiery spots on the sun, the four moons moving slowly around Jupiter in the way that Copernicus and Kepler said that the planets moved around at the sun. How does the moon cut its hair? Eclipse it. Galileo's discoveries caused an uproar. Other scientists attacked his ideas because they contradicted the accepted understanding of the universe, the ideas of Greeks Ptolemy and Aristotle. More impactful was the condemning of Galileo's ideas by the Roman Catholic Church. Galileo was arrested by the church for heresies or speaking against church teachings. In 1633, Galileo was tried before an inquisition, a church trial. He was found guilty and made to recant or take back his ideas. He was forced to state that the earth stands motionless at the center of the universe. 
Galileo spent the remainder of his life under house arrest. In 1992, the Roman Catholic Church admitted that Galileo was right 350 years later. The Roman Catholic priest, who is now a saint, named Thomas Aquinas, later described scientific discoveries as bringing to light the creation of God. His view of science helped to reduce church resistance to scientific progress. Despite the opposition of the church, a new approach based on observation and experimentation came to prominence. During the Renaissance, European scholars rediscovered the work of Greek philosophers and mathematicians. They read about Socrates and Plato, who promoted the use of reason and that all beliefs can be questioned. They read Aristotle, who promoted using this questioning spirit, applying reason, and making observation of the natural world to discover truth. Englishman Francis Bacon and Frenchman René Descartes helped to develop the scientific method of investigation. They questioned the beliefs of Aristotle. They rejected beliefs of medieval universities who sought to make the understanding fit the teachings of the church. They both argued that truth is not known at the beginning of inquiry, but at the end, after a long process of investigation. Descartes emphasized human reason. René Descartes was alarmed at how so much of what he thought he knew to be true was being overturned by scientific investigation. He tried to use reason alone to build a body of knowledge that he could believe, free of doubt. He used as the beginning of his reasoned body of knowledge a statement he said was true. I think, therefore, I am. He reasoned that if he can think, he must exist. Dopey Feller, who promoted the use of reason to discover truth? I can't think. Oh, uh -huh. I think, therefore I am. Bacon stressed experimentation and observation. Eventually, a step-by-step -step process of discovery developed, known as the scientific method. The steps of the scientific method are as follows. One, state the problem. Two, gather information on the problem. Three, form a hypothesis, an educated guess. Four, design and conduct an experiment to test the hypothesis. Five, collect, record, and analyze the data. Six, draw a conclusion from the analysis of the data. And seven, communicate, share data, and answer the question. In the scientific method, all knowledge discovered through this method is to be questioned and scrutinized through further scientific inquiry and retest it. If scientists are collectively unable to disprove a hypothesis, it is viewed as a scientific fact, but it is still open to being questioned and retested with further experimentation. Many new discoveries were made in the medical sciences. One researcher made discoveries about anatomy by conducting autopsies of dead bodies he stole from the morgue. Another scientist prevented infection and developed new surgical techniques and introduced artificial limbs. Another scientist described the circulation of the blood for the first time. Another used the microscope and became the first human to see cells and microorganisms. Achievements were made in chemistry. Robert Boyle described chemicals as basic building blocks and that matter is composed of tiny particles. He differentiated between elements and chemical compounds. Physics was advanced. Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity and theorized that it might be the force that kept the planets in orbit around the sun. He described natural forces mathematically. Sir Isaac Newton developed calculus 
Newton's laws of physics are still used today. Newton's laws of motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by another object. Force equals mass times acceleration. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Why did Sir Isaac Newton say the chicken crossed the road? The chicken was in motion. Chickens in motion tend to stay in motion. The scientific revolution propelled Europe from among the least knowledgeable societies to the most advanced in understanding of the natural world. The scientific method is used today throughout the world to discover truth. The influence of the scientific revolution spurred the age of enlightenment in which people searched for natural laws of society and led to a systematic analysis of the types of government. Well, that's it for the show. Don't be feller. Now are you hungry for knowledge? Well, you are what you eat. I'm going to eat me some learning. Yo, I feel myself getting smarter already. Ooh, Mr. Benjamin, you're delicious. And Smartin. I feel smarter already. It's a